ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in tennis space, Konas, Lithuania, and me, Andy, and my partner, Polus. We will show you how you should not be playing, and Sven will analyze and show you how to fix it. Vamos! You like it? Good yeah. match. I watched uh, this match yesterday and I wanted to highlight the most important aspects of this match because uh, that will help you the most and I, I think it's going to be some topics that we discuss. Some of them are going to be the same, some of them are going to be different. And the first one is actually where to play the overhead shots. So. The guys on the other side as well. Today we focus on the guy that sent in the video. He's uh, in the red shirt. And when you're playing the overhead now, it's kind of bouncing a lot when you play to the center. So I would not recommend when you move backwards to play in the center of the court. Because now the ball comes up a lot and this guy can attack quite hard. You can save it, but uh, you still manage to win the point. But what I would recommend is when you have these overhead shots and you had a few of those that were very good, just put them in the corner and that's it. So for everybody that is watching, if you move backwards, would not recommend to play in the middle. Once you are very comfortable and you're, you can play the ball very, very low, then you would play the overhead shot in the center of the court. The second clip is a lop, and this is what I see with many, many players. So this is what I think is wrong with the lop, and why people don't want to play the lop. Or why people feel that they are not so good in defending the bagada. So now the guy in the black shirt is playing the lop um, with a bit topspin, and quite deep into the court, and the ball has a lot of rebound. So what I think is good is that the ball is in the center of the court, but this guy has a very big rebound and he can hurt a lot. So we're going to see uh, some other lobs that I will highlight after this clip that are way better options. So that are lobs that are actually shorter um, and they have way less rebound. So guys, be careful with the lob. Don't lob it too deep and don't lob with topspin because then this is what you get. Yeah, so, so this clip for me is uh, how you should play Pavel. So he's playing the lob to the backhand. It's not even so high, but it's very uncomfortable to play the backhand from there. And then you come to the net and you win the point. So this is, a, this is Pavel. High backhand volley, you go in, boom, point. That's it. So the lob doesn't have to be always to, to get to the net. It should sometimes be a little bit more... Uh, in a way of thinking like how can I make my opponent more uncomfortable so for me if you play against two right-handed players there is I think 90% of your lob should go on the back end of the player on the right it's just it just works so well uh, you can win a lot of points with that so what you should not do and I saw it a few times from, from, from every player on the court, is to lob cross courts. Cross courts is the deepest angle, so I understand that you will think it's the best way to play the lob because you will not make a mistake. But even, even indoor, you, you can make a mistake twice. You can play against the back wall and you can play against the side wall. And this is what happens a lot with the lob. So now you're playing the lob cross courts and boom, it's out. So this is what I would not recommend. Also, um, your contact point with the lob, I froze the image in my screen now, but is quite high. So we also have to recognize lobs that we should not lob back on. So if they play the lob and the ball is high, you don't have to play it like a very fast bagada, but you can play the ball down on their feet because we're going to see a few more shots that you play down on the feet and you make them struggle so hard 
with a softer shot. So every shot should hurt, but soft shots can also hurt your opponent a lot. So it does not always mean that if you want to hurt your opponent that you play with speed or that you play the lob or you should make them move, you should play down their feet or you play fast to the body. You can hurt in many ways. This clip is about coaching each other. So what I would recommend is that what I saw now is that you are watching your partner and then your partner misses crucial information where your opponents are positioned. I don't know if you said anything because uh, for me, I don't speak um, your language, but uh, you're playing a high back and volley here. The ball is coming. So one guy goes closer into the net and the other guy stays behind. So if you are keep if you keep looking at the other side of the court you can tell your partner left is in front or back in front or peter is in front then you know he has to play to the other guy and if the player cross courts goes to the net there is a lot of space in the center of the court and i think we actually have a clip in here where you actually play to the correct player and you win the point instantly so uh, where, where your partner placed, uh, so we actually have a clip in here where your partner plays uh, in the right spot and it's an easy point. So you, for everybody at home, keep watching the other side of the court. Don't watch your partner. Trust in your partner that he will make the, a good shot. And then just, if he misses, he misses. But you need to tell him where he is because now he's going to play, he's playing an aggressive shot that he should not play. And he's making a mistake. If he knows, right guy's back, okay, he will not make a mistake and you will play way better. So now it's it's again is a good lob. So this is the lob that you should play over the left shoulder of the player on the right. He cannot attack this ball because it's it's there. And I think many players of this level, their forehand is way better than their backhand. Um, maybe especially nearly everybody on the court is slightly more in the forehand grip. So even though you just play to the backhand, they will never ever accelerate. Everything becomes easier if you play to their back end, especially when they're at the net. So now this lob, I really like it. It's a little bit cross courts. It's uh, a little bit too low. So the ball, the bounce is a little bit much. So this is great if it was a little bit higher and a little bit shorter, but much better lob. This is about hurting your opponent. So should you play fast or should you play slow? So this guy just played a bandeja. He is around the service line and then you decided to play a faster shot. And you make a mistake, I think, for no reason because he's playing a shot that doesn't really hurt you and you want to play fast. Well, they are quite far from the net. So you actually hurt your opponent a little bit more if you play a softer shot. So for everybody at home, soft shots hurt more when they are far from the net and fast shots will hurt more when your opponents are very close to the net. And this is a massive difference. So you should play fast if your opponents are close to the net. You should play slower when they're far. Another good example for the lob. So you're playing the lob now exactly in the center of the court. Uh, the first one a uh, little bit to his forehand and then he, they have to switch and he's playing a backhand and you're making a mistake to play to the net player again when they are at the net but this lob in the center of the court is great because then you can really start to take over the net so keep playing this lob all the time there is no need to do another one the only thing that you didn't do in this match is to lob straight 
over the left shoulder of the player in front of you. So for everybody that plays on the right side, you should play on the backhand side of the player on the right or on the backhand side of the player in front of you. So most players, especially the players on the left, are closer to the net when the ball is coming to you. So then it would be a very good option to play the lob straight because he has to run further. So uh, try that. Yes, so this is great. So I, uh, with the sound on, I think you're telling him where this guy is positioned. I think you said middle, if I'm hearing it correctly. There's a big gap, boom, you won the point. So it can be as easy as this, and it gives a kind of purpose to the shot that you need to make. Um, and that, that's, that's amazing, because if he hears middle or uh, cross court in front or back end in front, it gives a kind of confidence because he knows what he should do. So also in this clip, it shows when to play fast, when to play slow. If your opponent is serving, you should not play the, the return fast because there is more space in front of them than behind them. If you're playing a very fast return, they don't uh, have to run so far. So it's actually easier. If you play a very soft return, they have to run further, hit the volley from lower, and everything becomes easy. So in this case, this is a, quite an unforced error. I would not try to, uh, to play fast off the return. Only when, they, when the ball is quite high, but that does not happen so much with the return. So now again, we have a very good example on where to play the lob. So now again, you're playing the lob on the back end of the player on the right side. You take over the net, chiquita kind of thing, boom, and you win the point instantly. There's, there are so much possibilities. If you give them a high back end volley like this, or to play a lob over the left, uh, or, or if you play a lob over the back end side. So this, this works so well, and it's so easy to do. This is how a right side player should play. So for me, this is, if you can play with discipline in this structure, you're going to win a lot. So the only thing I would say is that you need to know a little bit more when you play soft and when you play slow on the right moments. This is a perfect example when to play slow. So he's serving, you, uh, the guy in the black shirt, your partner plays a very soft shot, and this guy is struggling so hard with this softer shot. Look at how he's, he, look what he needs to do to get the ball back. So after you play this wonderful shot, go to the net. He's struggling so hard. So then go to the net, folly it, boom, chiquita. Um, you don't even have to go full power, but this shot is amazing. He's struggling so hard. So this is why if you want to hurt your opponent, you can also choose to play a very soft shot. Look what it brings. This is also, in my opinion, nearly amazing. Does it sound positive? Yeah. So he's playing the serve, you lob him, so he has to move back again. He needs to make three steps. Big rebound, you play soft on the feet and you go to the net to take over it. You need to go both of you. So now your partner is on holiday and this doesn't work well. Second thing, this Chiquita was amazing. So you did everything well, except you had to play to the same player again. So what you did well is this guy was serving, he's moving forward. You lob him, he's moving backwards. Then you get another shot and then play on his feet again. Because then he has to run forwards, then backwards, then forwards and then backwards again. Then you have him. And you need to say to your partner that if I have the ball here, we go to the net. Or make a, say a number one. And then you know, boom, okay, we're going to play Chiquita. And... Um, 
the guy in front of you was closer to the net. He was uh, working. He was there. So his partner is struggling. This guy is focused. He didn't do anything. So play again. Uh, play to the same attacker again. So we, oh, I always explain, play to the same defender. Yes, but also play to the same attacker because this guy needs to run his ass off. That works way better. So this is just an amazing rally that I put in. Great catch, great block, and then boom. Vamos. So this is another great example of playing softer shots. So the ball is coming back, soft on the feet. He needs to let the ball bounce and make a mistake. If you play some soft shots now and then, you're gonna get easy wins, you're gonna get free points. It's, it works well, it works so well. It's the same with this clip, this is against you, but uh, serve, then uh, overhead with too, too soft, he can play the ball on the feet of your partner and, you can, uh, and they win the point instantly. So this is, uh, this is something that you have to try to get those bandejas a little bit deeper. So this is, I think, one of the struggles of both of you that it seems a little bit like a block. Um, I would also recommend to change paddle racket, to be honest. Uh, I don't really like that racket that you're playing with because it's too hard. It doesn't really do anything. So you have to try to focus on playing that overhead shots deeper. And then you see guys soft on the feet works so well. So this is also pressure because if it's fast on the feet, you just need to block. Sometimes it's way easier to solve the ball than a softer one that you have to lift it up. This is another one which is great. Because in this ready, you really out you outplay these guys. You outplay these guys. So you play like soft on his back end. He has to struggle. He cannot put any power. He has to move back again after a soft shot. And then you play in the center, you win the point. That's it. So this is outplaying with paddle. This is what you sh should try to do. And then at the right moment, you can do something. But at the right moment, you can also do nothing. And nothing sometimes works. Yeah, what I would recommend is instead of letting the ball come to your face, is to try to, to block it because you're not allowed to uh, head the ball over the net. So um, it just doesn't work well to head the ball over the net. And if you do, it's not a point. So. So for the last clip, we're going to end in a very negative note. <laughs> No, but this is uh, like the same. So the ball is, this is the, a great moment to play soft in the center because he doesn't have to move backwards. It's just that the bounce um, is a little bit deep. So this is the last tip that I want to give today. If you want to play in the center of the court, play in front of the, play in front of the white line. And if you play uh, cross courts, you can play a little bit deeper, especially if you hit the side wall first. But this is a great moment to play so, uh, soft in the center. It's, it's great. But we need to focus a lot on how deep we play the shots. Um, so that was the last tip for today. If, this, if you like this, then let me know. If everybody wants to send in their videos, we have a special membership pro uh, program on the YouTube channel. So you, be, you can become a member and I can analyze your technique or your tactics. So if you like this, if you need any help, then uh, let me know. Uh, I like to do these videos 
uh, there are more videos like this on the membership program that you can watch but for most people not everybody wants uh, their ass online so this is for the membership program there are uh, like around 100 people on the membership program so uh, just 100 people see how you f fail in paddle and how you just uh, but just 100 people so it's absolutely fine so hasta luego ciao adios